Right, a week ago I was out here and I walked along by the riverbank all the way along to the end of the breach where you couldn't cross because it's called a breach for a reason to let the tide in. Um, there was this way I was... <coughs> so I'm going this way. I came back that way last week. I'm going this way which will still take me to the same points even though it says... Um, mend it hide and all that that way you can still get to it this way Otterhampton so I'm doing a small video because this was the way I was supposed to come back Just checking out. Now I've got a windshield if necessary. I left my jumper in the van. Welcome to WWT Steert Marshes. Um, so here we go. I'm not going to video for long because it's just a path. Um, it's all new to me this. So I haven't done this particular walk before. It's good for cycling, it's good if you've got a trike, it's good if you've got a pram, it's good if you've got one of those mobility scooters, it's good if you've just got a pair of feet. It can take you, it can take people, disabled people out into the countryside, for example. Um, you're not going to be necessarily influenced by cows or anything. Right, over and out for a minute. Of course, I am hoping one day this week to um, go back to Longwood before the the garlic will be really out this week. So I might do that tomorrow. I'll, I'll see what the weather's like. It doesn't really matter now. This is the spring. This is the weather you can get out in. Unless you're going to have heavy thunderstorms or anything like that. This is the weather to get out. Um, I just hope I haven't made a mistake leaving my jumper in the van. Um, just hope that's not a mistake, otherwise I've got my windshield. Because I've already my bag is heavy and that is mainly because I have to carry extra fluids now, it's summer. So uh, I've got one medium sized bottle. I can't tell you exactly. I feel, unless I get the bottle out, I can't tell how many leaks a litre or two litres, I don't know, litre probably, and a smaller one, and a very, very small bottle of uh, juice, fruit juice. I'm not expecting this to take me long, but then I always say that, and then I end up, I'm out for about four or five hours. And there is somebody ahead of me, but I don't want to pair up with anyone because I'm doing my own thing. You get some people, they just want to join you. I'm not into that, you see. Not into that at all. And if I feel that's going to happen, I just divert. I don't mind being friendly, but um, no, I'm not. If I want to go out in a group, I would start with a group. Few cows in the field there. Morning, Moo Moos. Morning. I didn't study the weather forecast in detail, but it just said it was going to be okay. Um, but as I was leaving Western Superman, I noticed the sky changing from bright blue like it was this morning to overcast. So unfortunately, any photos I do will be will be overcast. Over and out. Oh, before I go, the date. The date is the 21st of May, 2018. Monday. 
Two days ago, we had the royal wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Mer Merkel at the um, St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle, attended by the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh and all the and members of the royal family. A a, quite a private affair. They only had 200 people at the actual reception bit, but people were parted in the village in the town of Windsor and all over the country and all over the world. In fact, the Americans went mad on it, apparently. The Americans hired a whole hotel in, in Windsor itself and um, for their 300 reporters. They even took out windows at a great cost in order to get everything set up perfect. So that's the Americans. They're loving it. Um, so that's a little bit of news. Over and out.